when U.S. swimming superstar Michael Phelps checked into Beijing's Athletes Village earlier this week, he got somewhat of a surprise. He's not the biggest name at the Summer Games, not even the second biggest. I was sitting in the uh, in the dining hall the other day, and uh, Federer was in there, and he just got <laughs> swarmed. Um, some of the basketball guys were in there last night, and uh, we, we had a chance to meet them and, and uh, hang out with them for a bit, and they got they got swarmed too. Uh, I, I've been fine, you know, a few pictures here and there, but nothing major. Phelps and a group of his U.S. swimming teammates drew a big enough crowd Thursday as they took a break from training to promote swimsuit maker Speedo. All of the American swimmers here say they're settling well in Beijing. But everyone in the village is so sweet to us and so helpful and the accommodations are fantastic. It's actually, I think, one of the best Olympic villages I've ever been in. It really hit me when, when we got to the Olympic village and, and moved in and, and went to the cube and saw what that was like and it just it really hit that wow this is another Olympics. The U.S. team enters the summer games amid high expectations. More than six world records were snapped during the team's trials last month. Now the world media spotlight is on this group and despite his relative anonymity in the Olympic Village the spotlight shines brightest on Phelps who will make a run at topping Mark Spitz's haul of seven gold medals during the 1972 games. Although he tells reporters he's not focused on the record. You guys are focusing on it more than I am. Uh, I'm not even thinking about it. Um, you know, I have, uh, I have eight races and I have to take one by one. The first swimming medals will be awarded on Sunday. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Beijing.